even when you're out and about, you can still have great audio using an XLR microphone with your phone, either USB-C or Lightning. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you and then also let you listen to what using an XLR to USB cable sounds like using an iPhone, a Pixel, and then also what an XLR microphone sounds using a semi-professional soundboard Rodecaster Pro specifically. So let's go ahead and just dive straight into it. Now for the sake of argument today, I'm gonna to be using a Pixel 5a. I'm also gonna be using an iPhone 12 Pro and then also gonna be using a Rodecaster Pro. So everything that you're about to hear, I'm going to put up on screen exactly uh, what I used in recording that particular audio sound bit. But before I go into that, let's talk about the different types of things that you're going to need in order to get really good sounding audio using that XLR mic with a XLR to USB cable. So depending on which type of device you have is gonna be dependent upon the adapter that you need to buy. So this particular one right here is a lightning to USB-A. So you can see right there at the bottom, that's where the USB-A goes. Right here goes into the back of your iPhone, no problems at all. And if you have a USB-C device, this is a USB-C where you have the A at the bottom, and then obviously the USB-C that goes into the bottom of the USB-C in your phone. So those are the two adapters that you need, but let's also talk about the different type of cable that you need. And on screen right now, you can see that there is a particular cable. You can get this at probably Amazon. I actually went to my local micro center to pick this up. This is a $35 USB to XLR cable. And yes, they absolutely do work. And yes, they absolutely sound pretty darn good in comparison to what you would get out of a regular microphone, either using your iPhone or your Pixel. Now for the sake of just making sure that everybody knows what a semi-professional soundboard sounds like, let's dive in and use three different types of mics. I'm going to use this mic that you see right here, which is the Shure SM7B. This is a four or $500 microphone, so definitely not approachable and for the majority of the masses. But the next microphone that we're gonna talk about is a Rode Pod mic, which is a hundred bucks. And honestly, between a $35 cable and a hundred dollars for about 135, 140 bucks, you can get exquisite sounding audio using just the mic, just the cable, and your phone. So yeah, there's definitely some advantages from a price perspective there. The next microphone that we're gonna use, I'm gonna use it two different ways, which is the Shure MV7. Now that is a USB and XLR style microphone. I'm gonna use both styles, that way you can hear exactly what those sound like before you go and make the choice of whether or not you should go get a whole semi-professional audio setup using XLR and the whole nine yards. So let's go ahead and dive straight into what it sounds like. Put pictures on the screen right now of exactly what I use in order to get the audio that you're about to hear. For the sake of an example, this is the microphone that you can hear directly shot through an iPhone 12 Pro. In comparison to all the other ones, it's a little more muffled, not necessarily so bad, but this is the sound that you could expect when using just the microphones of an iPhone 12 Pro. Now this is a test using the iPhone with the Shure MV7 directly plugged into the USB micro to USB-A with an adapter plugged directly into the lightning port on the iPhone 12 Pro. These are some of the expectations in terms of what you could hear from an audio perspective using a microphone that doesn't use an XLR to USB, but using just USB directly. This is a test recording using the Rode pod mic directly into the iPhone 12 Pro. I'm holding it about probably about a half a foot away from my mouth right now, but this is exactly what you could expect using a USB to XLR cable plugged directly into an adapter that goes into a lightning port in an iPhone. Now this particular recording is recorded directly into an iPhone 12 Pro using a lightning adapter USB to XLR cable plugged directly into the Shure Iconic SM7B. So everything that you hear is shot directly into an iPhone 12 Pro. This is a recording using the Google Pixel 5a directly handheld about six inches away from my face in terms of this recording. This is without any type of external microphones, but everything that you hear is directly through the microphones on the Pixel 5a. Now this is a recording that you would see using the pod mic 
using an XLR to USB with a USB connection going directly into the Google Pixel 5a. For the sake of a control, this is actually using the USB-C to the micro USB that is in the Shure MV7. So everything that you hear is directly shot into the Pixel using a USB connection into the Shure MV7 podcasting mic. So I decided to go a little crazy today and I plugged my $400 Shure SM7B directly into my Pixel 5a and everything that you hear right now is a Again, sure, SM7B plugged directly in using an XLR to USB cable, and this is what you could expect when you're recording directly to your phone. Now this is the MV7 using an XLR cable plugged directly into the Rodecaster Pro, again about a half a foot away from my face, but this is what it could sound like when you're using a soundboard versus just plugging directly into your phone. Now this is a Rode pod mic, again plugged directly into the Rodecaster Pro. This is about what you could expect, having it plugged directly into your sound soundboard so everything that you hear is again Rodecaster Pro with a Rode pod mic and these are the expectations you could hear using some more semi-professional equipment rather than just using your phone. And last but certainly not least this is a $400 Shure SM7B recording again same depth away from my face plugged directly into the Rodecaster Pro rather than using just something plugged directly into your phone. Honestly you can hear it right there I would 100% recommend anybody if you want to get really good sounding audio, you absolutely can use an XLR microphone with your phone or really, quite honestly, with your MacBook, your iPad Pro, you can use it the whole nine yards. You can use an XLR microphone without having an XLR input because you can use this XLR cable with a variety of different devices. I tried it with Android. I tried it with iOS. Um, what I didn't do on screen was show you how works with the Mac, but basically it's USB-C, works exactly the same as it would be with the Android device. So you don't have to have an XLR interface in order to get XLR type quality, especially those XLR microphones. Everything that I talked about in this particular video, including this microphone, will be linked in the description below. So check it out if you want to see exactly what it's like to use an XLR mic using no XLR audio interfaces. So that's it, that's all I have. As always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we will see you next time. <laughs>